Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Apacer channel. My name is Ben and today we have an ultra high-end NAS in the form of the ASUS Store Locker Store 8 with specialized storage devices in the form of the PPSS25, the PP3480 and the PPSS80. In case you didn't already know, NAS means Network Attached Storage. So, what makes this NAS device different from all other NAS devices found on the market today? Simple, it can store all forms of modern storage, including, but not limited to, PCIe, NVMe, and AHCI devices, and it can support both solid state drives in the form of SATA, as well as traditional SATA hard drives. Don't go away, because we have some benchmarks for you guys later today. So why would you need the Locker Store 8? Simply put, if you are in a situation where friends, family members, or coworkers need access to entire terabytes of data on a frequent basis and moving them between computers, then this is the device for you. Additionally, if you already have an NAS, but it's an older NAS and it doesn't support 10 gigabit ethernet, then that may be a problem. Here's the perfect example. This is a 4K video of my coworker, Anna. As you can see, we are buffering a lot because the NAS of the department I work in only supports one gigabit ethernet. When we switch to direct playback from the ASUS Store Locker Store 8, there is no issue whatsoever. This is just one case where purchasing a new NAS will help you moving forward into 2020 and beyond. Please note that although you are watching this video in 1080p, the playback bitrate is the same as it would be if we were watching in RAW 4K. At a pacer, we built the PP3480, the PPSS25, and the PPSS80 specifically to be used with an NAS and to last up to three times longer than an ordinary consumer grade SSD. In the event that you fill up all of the storage devices on this NAS, you can go to the ASUS Store website and purchase an expansion unit with which you can fill more SSDs. All of the relevant links to all of the hardware that we have mentioned in this video can be found in the description below this video. Now let's get to our benchmark tests. We are about to test four scenarios with the Locker Store 8. The first test will be with traditional SATA hard drives and no M.2 caching. The second test will be the same SATA hard drives, but with M.2 caching. The third test will be SATA SSDs without M.2 caching. And our fourth and final test will be SATA SSDs with M.2 caching. So let's get started. Our benchmark process is actually very simple. We're just using a software app on the ASUS Store Locker Store 8 known as NextCloud to load very large sized photos. We're talking about 10 megabytes a piece here. And as you can see, with just a hard drive, it takes nearly 10 seconds to load a single image. Now let's apply our cache and see if there's a difference. Here we are loading our first image and boom, there it is. Rather seamless browsing experience. However, when we switch to an SSD, we see a little bit of buffer time. And this is just an SSD without an M.2 cache. Now we're going to apply our M.2 cache to that SSD and see if there is a recognizable difference. A little bit of buffering on our first image. For the most part, not so much buffering in our last round of browsing images. And now here we are with a side-by-side -side comparison of all photos being loaded and browsed simultaneously. And now here are all of the numbers for your convenience with regards to how long it took us to load all of these photos. This graph represents total bytes written. You can think of this as the expected lifespan of a Pacer NAS SSDs, and they are backed by a five-year warranty. And this is drive writes per day. This is how many times you can expect to completely fill your SSD on a daily basis without issue.
We hope that this video on the ASUS Store Locker Store 8 has been helpful. If you guys thought it was, make sure you guys leave us with a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions about the ASUS Store Locker Store 8 or about a Pacer's NAS SSDs, make sure you leave them in the comments below. If you guys want to see more benchmarking videos or other videos about our storage devices at a Pacer, make sure you subscribe. My name is Ben and we will see you guys in the next one.